Let's get these kids interested in science and engineering so that one of these days they can be the capable people that are by and large inclined to stay within the Houston area and work for us in our plants and in our headquarters and, and everything possible to help make our business uh, successful. I'm hoping to get a bachelor's degree in marine biology and continue into oceanography as a graduate degree. This year we take IPC, which is Integrated Physics and Chemistry, and I really like chemistry a lot. My dad, he's a pharmacist and he loves science, so he influenced me a lot. And my teacher, they influenced me because they want me to be an engineer, so that's why I got into this, and you know, I kind of like it too. We're trying to do a better job of reaching out to the parents and the students and the teachers and make them aware of the opportunities within our companies. And the best way to do that is to come get engaged with these science fairs and bring the families together to learn about the opportunities. I remember my first science project. My dad assisted me with designing a windmill generator. And that just piqued my interest from that day forward. I actually became a mechanical engineer. I went to work for Dow Chemical, and I ended up being a plant manager at a power plant. So you can see how my interest from early on in fourth and fifth grade of working on that windmill generator got me leading towards a great career with exciting opportunities. Now tell me how we will get to use this in Houston. How do we? How do we benefit? Do we? Uh... If we have a hurricane and we need dry fridge, we can well, see which one dries the best. Yeah, so we can ah, dry it. Ah, very good. What would you want to see it used the most? Would it be for like a uh, a preserved snack for natural disasters or preserved could... snack for natural disasters? Wonderful, wonderful. A final part of the experiment was comparing the range of vehicles that both alternative fuels could, make, could be used for. This type of project is kind of fun. We've done it for the past seven years, and uh, just going out there and learning something new is a reward in itself. I either want to become involved in petroleum engineering, uh, ag business, or I want to get involved in medicine. We got the idea of making up two buildings to see which one would hold the most weight. We made a rectangular one and a triangular one. We had to use some like geometry for the dimensions and everything, and or uh, science because you know like how much it will withstand and everything. I want to build like cars and everything, so like it's kind of like the same thing. I want to major in engineering. We're seeing a lot of corporations here that are involved, in, and you've mentioned the Greater Houston Partnership. What would be their motivations for getting involved in an affair like this? I think the primary motivation is looking at where the future workforce is going to come from. And these are going to be the people that you want to hire for your next generation of scientists, engineers, computer scientists, IT people. Doesn't make any difference. These are the students that you want. These are the students that are willing to do more than they have to. And that's a good group of students.